sharing a simple and delicious recipe for overnight coffee cake. This recipe comes from one of my old Southern Living cookbooks. I'll make sure to leave the recipe and the information for the cookbook in the description box. So let me show you what you're going to need. So for the cake portion, you'll need eggs, brown sugar, white sugar, flour, buttermilk, melted butter, cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And then for the crumble topping, you'll need pecans, cinnamon, and brown sugar. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start by adding all of my wet ingredients first. I've already got my eggs in the bowl and they are at room temperature. And I'm adding in my buttermilk, which is also at room temperature. Anytime you're baking, all of your wet ingredients, you want them to be room temperature. It makes for more even baking. Adding in my melted butter, and this is unsalted butter. And now I'm going to add in my flour and sugar. And what I love about this recipe is that you literally just dump everything into one bowl at the same time. My cinnamon, my baking, baking powder, baking soda, and my salt, and my brown sugar. And I'm just gonna mix this up with my mixer, hand mixer, for about three minutes. Okay, so my batter is all mixed up and it looks so good. I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna work on my crumble topping. Okay, so to my bowl, I'm gonna add my brown sugar, my cinnamon. I'm just gonna break it up just a little bit and I'm gonna add in my pecans. And just give it a good stir. Okay, now I'm just gonna set this to the side and grab my baking dish. Okay, so I've got my nine by 13 baking dish and I've sprayed it with Baker's Joy. If you're not familiar, Baker's Joy is a cooking spray that has flour in it. If you don't have um, Baker's Joy, just use anything you'd like to grease your pan, Crisco, butter, um, whatever you'd like. So I'm just gonna pour in my batter and just gonna spread it out evenly. All right, that's all there is to it. We're not going to add that crumble mixture until we're ready to bake it. But now I'm gonna cover this baking dish with some plastic wrap and you're gonna pop it in the refrigerator for eight to 12 hours. Okay, so it's been about eight hours and I just took the cake batter out of the refrigerator, I preheated my oven to 350 degrees, and now what I'm doing is sprinkling that brown sugar topping that I mixed up earlier, I am sprinkling it right on top. So now I'm gonna bake this for about 35 to 40 minutes or until it's done. So I just took the coffee cake out of the oven and I let it bake for exactly 35 minutes. I'm gonna let this cool completely and then I will cut a slice so you all can see what the inside looks like. Okay, so here's the coffee cake. I let it cool completely and I cut out a slice so you all could see what it looks like. So here is the slice on my plate and you can see how light and fluffy it is. It's so tender. And here is the pan. So you can kind of see what it looks like in there as well. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.